Hey guys, Matt again. I can't seem to stop working on this thing. <laughs> this is this is uh, actually two days after the last the last video. So this was like day five or something. Um, and so I have right now. I have the eyeball camera in there. Uh, the neck motors in the head. The jaw motors in there. And the now I have a speaker here. Uh, it's a little cruddy Radio Shack speaker. It takes a nine volt battery, and then connects here. This is not connected up yet. Still don't know if I'm going to use it. And all these cables come out through the back. They're all labeled neck jaw whatever. They go into a USB hub, which then goes into a Raspberry Pi, which then goes into this breadboard, which is powered by the power supply, and then the Raspberry Pi is controlled from. This little HDMI SSH, uh, well, I can. Uh, the point is I can SSH into the Pi, of course, from a different machine. And here you can see the, uh, this is the eyeball camera. It's rotated right now. I, did, I can flip it with software. Um, so wait, see so if I can wave high. Hello, there's my hand. So frame rate's not that good. Anyway, run a full test here of everything. And, uh, oh, so I tied the, uh, the speaker in, tried three different methods for uh, text-to-speech. Uh, one of them is festival, the other is eSpeak, and the third one is a script calling the Google uh, text-to-speech, Google Translate or something going over the, the network. So this the Pi does have a wireless uh, wireless USB thing in it um, to get it to the network. So let me run test. And here it goes. Hello world. I am Aaron. My favorite color is green. Neck right. Neck right forty five. Neck center. Neck left forty five. Neck left. Neck center. Well, that's the end of the test. So, still going good. And hopefully, I can put this down for a little while and get to the other projects because I keep doing this. Yeah, I think I am going to render, uh, re-render some of these parts in Cura instead of Slicer. Uh, see if I can print them better. I think the reason these white ones didn't print right is actually because I had some, some, uh, non-standard, uh, width, uh, filament from, some other, some random manufacturer rather than one that had been uh, quality tested. And so I tried to print it and it clogged up the, uh, the nozzle and I had to buy a new nozzle. <laughs> but, um, so now I've got some better filament and so I, I can reprint some of these parts. Uh, but the main thing I have to reprint is this center, uh, chest motor piece again. Cause that didn't print out right, and I just, I just shoved it in there anyway for now. But I'm gonna reprint the uh, the center uh, servo motor holder, uh, and then so I, I at least have that step that I have to do before I start working again. So that'll be a week or something. Uh, at some point, I, I do plan on uh, publishing these scripts that I've written, and and I I've been documenting the full. Uh, installation process for what packages you need, etc. Um, so I, I'll probably just open source up this, these, all these scripts at some point um, on the Isomer programming website. And there we go. All right. Bye.